friends, welcome to a new video. Today I am going to be sharing with you our Disney World haul. So I'm going to be showing you all the things that we got while we were in Disney World for June of 2023 and it's a lot. We did hit up the outlets while we were there and so a lot of this does come from the outlet store and I will try to mention you know where everything came from while I show it to you. I do have a small shop Disney haul I want to show you that we got prior to our trip but it was specifically for the trip so i do want to show you those things and then i'll get into the things that we actually got while we were at disney world so i managed to catch shop disney on a pretty good sale so i want to show you a few things that we got from that first i'll show you the t-shirts we got i got one for me and that is the purple classic like hand-drawn looking mickey mouse shirt purple is my favorite color <laughs> and i'm always looking for shirts that match my purple ears so i got that for 15 dollars on sale same with my husband's the only one they had in his size during the sale was this orange tie-dye shirt and it also has the hand-drawn mickey on the front there and for my daughter ava i grabbed her a four town shirt we are big four townies my daughter and i <laughs> so actually this one has been washed once since I purchased it and the quality of the print is not the best it has already like shown some wear after only one wash but for what it is we didn't pay very much for this one either like I said all this stuff was on sale which is why I bought it I also have a four town shirt that's not from shop Disney so we kind of wore these together on the same day and, and it was fun next I went ahead and purchased a 2023 ornament even though we hadn't been yet in 2023 at that time but it's just because every Christmas when we go we always are like let's pick out an ornament but they never have the current year's ornaments at Christmas time they always have like the next year stuff out and ready to go so I wanted to go ahead and get a 2023 ornament I always just like to get these shipped to my house rather than pack them in our luggage because they always come in like all this extra protected shipping so anyways this is from the 2023 collection it is the classic Mickey head bubble with the year on it so I will show it up close for you all it's got the year and the fireworks it does say well Disney World, Mickey and Minnie are up there looking cute. On the back it has the whole gang, Donald, Daisy, Chip and Dale, and Goofy and Pluto as well. So I went ahead and picked up another ornament as well while it was on sale. Actually all of the Encanto stuff was on an additional sale in addition to the like big sale that they had. I caught Shop Disney on a really good day <laughs> but it is an Encanto ornament. It is one of these ear hat ornaments. They have two different ones. One of them has like Mirabelle and her sisters on it this one has the cousins on it which our favorite characters are really from this side of the family so it does have casita on here looking really cute the ears on this side show Bruno and Antonio Bruno is Ava's favorite character and then on the back you can see the back side of casita along with Camillo and Dolores and Camillo is my favorite character <laughs> so we couldn't resist the mega sale that this was I think we got it for about $15 as well also this one does light up the little candle inside the window does light up there so super cute next my husband had a birthday in April I do believe he got a shop Disney gift card from either my parents or his parents I'm not sure which ones and he used it on me he bought me a couple of gifts that I wanted <laughs> which is so sweet he likes these as well I think so he was excited for me I think but yeah so I got two pairs of ears here the first one is the three caballeros it has all three of them on here here it is the most beautiful pink and yellow with the embroidered flowers and this little Donald with his maracas but something that I did not know about these ears until we bought them is that they kind of jingle like maracas <laughs> these are from the Disney 100 decades line and it does have an emblem on the side to show that here is the back as well and yeah I just absolutely love these next I have the tiki room ears so while the tiki room is not my favorite traditionally I do love the Polynesian and tiki themed things so I love these so much so they are just really neat I'll show them up close for you we just have tiki birds on either side and the bow has a little dull whip right in the middle there 
And here is the backside, again, just more tiki birds. It does say Enchanted Tiki Room here on the side. So yeah, these are super fun as well. Perfect for Magic Kingdom. The last thing I'm gonna show you that we bought prior to the trip was something I wanted to get my husband for Father's Day. And we did leave for our trip on Father's Day and I did manage to snag this during the sale. And that is a coach mug. So this was only $35 regular price only. I mean, it's a coffee mug. I think I got it on sale for 24. So it does have the coach emblem. All all around it along with Mickey and the castle and it says Walt Disney World and that coach logo does continue around the entire mug. The bottom here just says Disney and coach. The inside is just plain red. My husband does drink a lot of coffee. We don't collect coffee mugs necessarily. He really likes the Star Wars been there mugs from Starbucks, but uh, yeah, I couldn't resist snatching up a Coach brand item for relatively inexpensive. Okay, now it is time to show you all the things that we purchased in Disney World on our most recent trip, the trip that we just finished our vlog series on. This video is gonna go up right after that. So we are annual pass holders. They did have a 30% annual pass holder discount while we were there. We thought we were going to go overboard on the Disney merch just because of that discount increase, but we didn't do too much what we did do was go to the outlets and we found a bunch of stuff there so anyways before I get into all that I do want to show you two items I bought for friends one of my friends goes to Disney World quite frequently as well and she regretted not picking up the sweatshirt when she was there so I was like I have that 30% discount let me get it for you while I'm there and it's this Magic Kingdom peace sign shirt so it's just white with the peace sign. It's got these really cool like 70s looking flowers and the logo all in it. So this was one that she really loved and I said I'll grab it for you while I'm there for that 30% off. I have another friend who hasn't been to Disney World in a while though it's on her mind I believe. She loves Snow White and she really loved these Snow White ears that they currently have. These are also part of the Disney 100 Decades collection. They are really beautiful. So there's Snow White with some of her woodland friends there. Same on the other ear and then the middle just has the really beautiful blue and red bow to match Snow White's dress with the red apple in the middle. And then on the other side you can see Snow White and her friends peeking through the window and then on this side you can see the evil witch peeking through the window. So these are really beautiful. I'm happy that I was able to snag these for her for 30% off. All right, so we have a lot of stuff that we purchased for ourselves while we were in Florida. First, I'm gonna show you the clothes that we got. The only item in this clothing stack that we did not get out the outlets is this Polynesian shirt for our daughter Ava. She saw this and really loved it. So it does say Aloha with the Tiki God Maui on the front there. He is the statue that's in the lobby of the Polynesian with the Polynesian logo. We didn't stay in Polynesian this time, but it is our favorite resort and we would love to own there. We would love to buy some DVC points there. Whenever they start selling that tower, we're kind of hoping to purchase some. So it is our favorite resort. From the outlets, my husband was able to find this really awesome Mickey sweatshirt. By the way, we do go to Disney World every Christmas and at least two of the three Christmases that we've been there have been very cold. So we do find ourselves wearing sweaters quite a bit while we're there. So yeah, he found this really awesome Mickey. It does say Mickey Mouse on the sleeve and I believe this sleeve has Mickey on it as well. So yeah, this was a really fun find. Only $20 for this one. Also from the outlets, my husband found this button up shirt. This is a shirt that he he thinks is nice enough that he could wear to work even. And it does have Mickey Mouse with a Santa hat on the front left chest here. This one we managed to get for only $10. Next we have my favorite of the shirts that he got. I wish they had had this one in my size but it is another Christmas sweatshirt. It is the red and black plaid with a big Mickey on the front and on the back, is this Spirit Jersey brand? Yes, it is. On the back, it has the Walt Disney World across the entire shoulders and back, like all the Spirit Jerseys have, but yeah, this is my favorite of the ones he picked up. He got this one for $20. Next, we have a sweatshirt we found for our daughter in the outlets. This one is an Encanto one. It's absolutely beautiful. I think it's probably a little too big for her right now yeah so she's wearing like a medium or maybe a large right now this is an extra large so she'll grow into it but it is a sweatshirt with 
the entire gang on it from Encanto along with Casita. So it does have Mirabelle and her entire family. There's Bruno over here in the corner. Here's Camillo over here who's my favorite. The sleeves kind of continue the design and the back is kind of just like a repeat of the front but it is beautiful. Another one we were excited to find at the outlets. The last piece of clothing we found at the outlets was a spirit jersey in my size and I'm excited about this one because I know I'm going to be able to wear it on our next trip and that that is a Halloween spirit jersey and that is Oogie Boogie. So this is a really fun tie-dye design. It does say Oogie Boogie on the front left chest and then on the back it says Oogie Boogie as well, along with Oogie Boogie down there at the bottom. So I got this for $20 as well. Excited to find one in my size at the outlets. Okay, from clothing, I'm gonna transition over to headgear. So I have four items to show you. First of all, my husband, he's super into hats, dad hats, if you will. We did go over and visit Animal Kingdom Lodge at one point during our trip, and he picked up the Animal Kingdom Lodge dad hat. <laughs> Inside it does have this kind of decorative design which I think he could take or leave but he was really excited about the Animal Kingdom Lodge hat. So our home resort, our DVC resort is Animal Kingdom Lodge so we do have a contract with them. Next I have a bucket hat. I couldn't resist. It was so hot when we were there you guys. I just needed something over my face to block the sun from my eyes but also like protect my forehead a little bit. So I picked up this really cute bucket hat. So this is from a new line by Joey Goo Go. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name there. My apologies. It is a reversible hat. On one side we have this really fun purple color Mickey and the gang. I guess it's mostly just Mickey in various attractions. So you can see the castle, there's Jungle Cruise, there's the pirate's dog, there's the Cheshire Cat, Haunted Mansion, there's Stitch on Space Mountain there. And then if you flip it over to the blue side, it has the castle with some fireworks. Yeah, so I'm sure there was some vlog footage of me wearing this. I need to cut the tag out. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if any person is a bucket hat person as far as the way they look. Look, but it really felt good to have the sun out of my eyes. Next for only like two dollars, maybe even only one, I don't remember, Ava found this like Ursula headband. She's all into Ursula now after seeing the new Little Mermaid movie, which she saw with her grandparents. We haven't seen it yet, but she's like obsessed with villains in general, but of course she loves Ursula now after seeing that movie. So this one does kind of light up and she loves that, so I don't know if she'll ever wear it, but we picked it up. And the last piece of headgear are a pair of ears that we found at the outlet. So this was only $4 and it's just a Christmas pair. Like I said, we do go for Christmas every year. I only own one pair of Christmas ears. Well, now I own two, I guess. But when you find them for so inexpensive, it's hard to resist. So these don't have the bow in the middle. I think they're meant to be like, you know, men could wear them, women, anyone could wear them. They are really fluffy here in the headband, which is kind of soft and nice. So you yeah, I'm excited about another pair of these. Like I said, so very inexpensive. They are just the plaid. Ooh, they match Devin's sweatshirt he got, don't they? I just kind of realized that. And then they also say Joy on the side here. So these were part of like the Joy line that Disney came out with last Christmas. Next, I want to show you pins. But before I show pins, I actually want to show something that's not from Shop Disney or from Disney World. It's just the backpack that I wanted. So this is an Osprey Daylight backpack. My husband uses this backpack, but in black and then we also had one for my daughter which is green which I'll show in a second and so I ordered this while standing in line for Magic Carpets of Aladdin and it was on my doorstep when we got home but I knew I wanted some pins for it so that's one reason why I wanted to show it like that's why I bought pins was to put on this bag. The first pin I got for myself is this Disney Vacation Club pin. I do own one other Disney Vacation Club pin but this one is a different design it just has Mickey with his little suitcase and it says Disney Vacation Club member. Next I wanted one that had our home resort on it so I wanted an Animal Kingdom Lodge pen. This one says Jumbo. It has Mickey and Minnie on it with Animal Kingdom Lodge in the background and it does say Animal Kingdom Lodge on it as well. And the last pin purchase for me on this trip was a pass holder one. I also wanted one that said pass holder and it has figment on it. It's so cute. It does say Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival which was you know going on while we were there. So it has Figment using his little water bucket on some Mickey shaped plants 
It does say Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2023 pass holder exclusive pin. So yeah, these will all go on my backpack. So here's Ava's backpack. It's like the kids version of the Osprey Daylight. She looked so cute wearing this. She kept her trading pins, her autograph book, her sunglasses, and some snacks in here. It was perfect and precious. So she does have a couple new pins on hers as well. This is Stitch and Angel, and they came in their own two pack. She loves Stitch and Angel, so we let her pick out a special pin for this trip, and that was what she picked. She also found this one in the outlets, and she had to make some sacrifices. She put down a couple things that she had in her hand so that she could get this instead. This is from the Stitch Crashes Disney collection, and this is Stitch, I believe, with like Lady and the Tramp spaghetti on his head. So it's actually quite large of a pin. I'm not sure if she's going to want to put it on her pin board here or what, but she saw this and needed it. So <laughs> she had a few things in her hand and I was like, you got to decide if you want this or this. And she picked this. And lastly, I'll show you the pins that she collected while we were there. I believe she traded all of the ones that she took and sometimes even more than once, like she traded ones that she got while she was there. So the ones that we ended up with and came home with, actually there's some on the pin board over here I'll show you too. We weren't sure what these are at first, but they kind of look like smartwatches with like a decorative thing around them. So the decorative thing around this smartwatch is figment. Does that look like it makes sense to you all? She also found this Polynesian looking head. Couldn't live without that one. She found a few of these smartwatch looking ones. So she picked up this Mickey as well well. She found a mini one, so that's that. I think this is probably my favorite one she came home with. That's Boo from Monsters, Inc. Here's another one of the smart watches. I believe that this is Chip from Chip and Dale. And she also found this Donald Cupcake. Anytime Ava trades pins in Disney World or gets special pins, she puts them on this pin board. So some of these are special ones that she has traded and doesn't want to risk trading again. So she puts them on this board. The new ones are this Tigger right here. While Tigger is not like a sentimental character to us necessarily, a lady at a DVC kiosk gave her that, which was super special. Next is this pin of fear from Inside Out. I don't actually remember like where she got this one, but she must like it enough to not want to trade it. So she put it on her special pin board in here. And then lastly, she met a man who was collecting and trading Donald. He had just put this on a trading board and she traded special for for that one. Next I have kind of a collection of random things to show you. The first items I have to show you are these placemats. These are from the Disney's vault collection. We got two of them because they were only two dollars each and we figured we, each of us could take one to work or leave one here or something like that. But it has the whole gang with the Disney World logo on both of them here. They're the same. And on the back they have a really cool map of Magic Kingdom from like the 70s when it first opened. So like I said this was part of the vault collection during the 50th anniversary celebration. Next we stopped by a DVC kiosk in order to pick trade but we ended up chatting with the lady there she didn't bug us at all or start talking about DVC in a sales pitchy way we actually started talking about it ourselves because we are interested in purchasing a Polynesian contract in the future so she kind of hooked us up with our own DVC guide and was asking us if we had received our DVC gifts and I told her that we had purchased our contract resale so we probably weren't subject to receive gifts but she was like oh no uh, we don't judge here we're happy that you're part of the DVC family. So she gave both of us DVC member magnets. So we've already put one of these on the car. The other one will probably go on our fridge. And then she also gave us two each of these lithographs. The first one is a Steamboat Willie. Oh, it was the Disney Hotel. The Villas at Disneyland Hotel. That's the new one in California. It has a little bit of information about the artist and the art on the back here. And then the second one is a lithograph from Riviera. So this this is still a relatively new resort. This one just opened at the end of 2019 and they're still selling it so I guess they still have some gifts from it but yeah that was really nice of her to do to offer us some gifts even though we are resale members and not 
you know, real members yet anyways. So I was really happy about that interaction we had with that cast member. She was super sweet. In the same vein of those items, I also have our Disney World annual pass holder magnets. So these have figment on them. They're so cute. I love them so much. And yeah, they actually were giving these out while we were in Disney World, which we've only been annual pass holders one other time. And the time that they were passing out the magnets, we were not in Florida. So we weren't able to pick them up, but it, it turns out we were able to pick them up this time, which was really exciting. So we actually got three of them. We are all three annual pass holders. One of them's already on our car. One of these will probably end up going on our fridge and one of them technically is Ava's. So she could do whatever she wants with it, though she doesn't really have any magnetic surfaces in her room at the moment. <laughs> Next, I have a desk plate that I'd had my eye on for a while, but it was on clearance in the outlet store, so I couldn't resist. This is the there's a great big beautiful tomorrow quote from the carousel of progress which is a family favorite so i'm excited to have this desk plate to put on my desk at work next i have a puzzle this is from the disney 100 collection i absolutely love this artwork they have ears to match and i was so tempted by them but i decided not to so here's the artwork it has a few of my favorites on here which happens to be mirabelle rapunzel figments on here one thing i love about this is that everyone is like conducting music. It does say 100 years of music and wonder at the bottom here. I enjoy a puzzle every once in a while. I always like glue them together and frame them <laughs> and put them in the house somewhere. So I'm excited to have this one. It is a 1000 piece puzzle though, right? Yeah, it says 1000 pieces. So this one's going to be quite the doozy. Next, I have a slap bracelet from Tron. So we let Ava pick out one of the slap bracelets. They do have a bunch of different colors, but because you are playing as Team Blue when you ride Tron. That's why Ava decided to choose the blue one. So it does have this slider that goes across there of a Tron light cycle, and it just looks super cool and fun. Next, my husband, Devin, has been talking about getting a new Magic Band for a while, and he picked out a Magic Band Plus, which to be fair, they're not even selling the regular Magic Bands. Well, I mean, they might be around somewhere, but we had trouble finding them, but he actually really liked this Adventureland Magic Band, which I do too. I think it's super fun. I love the colors in it. It was lighting up a second ago, but now I can't get it to do it. But on the front here, it just has the Walt Disney World logo in this really fun like green and orange print. And then this is an Adventureland Magic Band. So it has the Tiki Birds, as well as like a pirate ship down here. On this side, it has the pirate flag. It does say pass holder. I don't even think I realized that this was a pass holder only Magic Band or I completely forgot. It has a little Dole Whip. It has a Jungle Cruise skipper boat there and the little elephant from Jungle Cruise. I believe that's the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse there and then some more Tiki items. Next is another item I found in the outlets. This was only $8. It is a Skyliner little decoration. It comes with a little stand. Ava already opened it, so I'll go ahead and open it and show you. So I'm not going to pull the stand out at the moment, but it will kind of hang like this on the desk. It is a gold 50th anniversary wrapped Skyliner. So it has Mickey and Minnie in their 50th anniversary outfits on one side. And on the other, it has Daisy and Donald. On the side here, it shows Goofy. And I did not even realize this, but it does have little doors that open in the same way that the doors on the real Skyliner open like that. And it has little seats on the inside, too cute. So I, have, I don't really have plans for where this will go, probably just in our living room somewhere. Next, I have an ornament from the Polynesian. We've been wanting a Polynesian ornament. We really wanna collect ornaments from all of the deluxe resorts that we stay in, all of the DVC resorts that we've stayed in. We are lacking in Animal Kingdom Lodge, but we did look at them while we were there and didn't love them. Anyways, this one is Maui, the Tiki God who is a statue in the lobby of the Polynesian. It does say Disney's Polynesian Village Resort down here at the bottom. And the fun thing about this that we did not even realize until we were checking out and the cast member showed us is that it lights up. How fun is that? <laughs> Next, we did pick up a popcorn bucket while we were there. We enjoy the Disney popcorn and we enjoy taking our popcorn bucket and attaching it to our bag and just filling it up throughout our trip. So the only other popcorn bucket that we have is a 50th anniversary one. So we wanted to get one that is more recent. So this is the 100th anniversary one. We got Daisy, we've got Donald, we've got Chip down there. There's Mickey and Minnie looking super nice in their 100th anniversary outfits. There's Tinkerbell with the castle. 
There's Pluto and Dale. We did fill this up a couple of times while we were in the parks. Next, I have toys for Ava. The first one is a National Geographic item that she found in the outlet. So this was very inexpensive. It came with like a little booklet and this has like stickers and activities inside of it. So she loves that. And it also came with a cheetah or jaguar and a hippopotamus so she is obsessed with cheetahs so i think that's probably what drew her into this but yeah this was all like one set that she got for very inexpensive next we have a life day orb here it does glow so life day is like the star wars version of christmas i believe it's celebrated by the wookie planet, the Wookiee race. Please forgive me if I'm not saying all the right words, but I've seen artwork of some of the Wookiees holding the Life Day Orb, and I believe that's what this is. Next, we have an Ikron, or a Banshee, from Pandora. She really wants one of those shoulder ones, which we are pretty sure we're going to purchase for her the next time we go, but yeah, she likes this one because this is what the one that you battle in Flight of Passage looks like. I believe he makes noise, but I think ours has already run out of battle battery but he does have a little mouth that opens and yeah I mean I, I don't know what else to say about it she this is what she picked out next is another item we found in the outlets this is Lola from Obi-Wan Kenobi that show how do you ah so it is super cute it lights up it makes a little bit of noise she loves it. Super cute. So she did pick out one new emo outfit for her new emos at the outlet store. She found this little dress with a headband. She wanted this one because it matches the little picnic basket that she got the last time we were at the outlets. So yeah, she hasn't put this on any of her new emos yet. We have a stitch and an angel, by the way. Yeah, she picked out this little dress. And I'm very proud to say we came out of this trip with only two plushies and they are so cute. So the first one is Pam. Panda May. Ava is absolutely obsessed with Panda May and Turning Red. This is a kind of large plushie. It also has the large tail here, but so cute and so fluffy and like squeezable. So this was a fun purchase. And then the last plushie is probably my favorite item in this entire haul is the Okapi. So this is what she picked out from Animal Kingdom Lodge. My husband and I both bought something so we let her pick out something as well. Isn't he so cute? So this is special because you know like the Okapis are not the most common animal like stuffed animal to find so this is a little bit more special to Animal Kingdom Lodge and it's so cute. We absolutely love. All right guys that's all I have for this haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I always love watching haul videos as well. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to hit subscribe on your way out if you have not done so already if you didn't watch our june vlog series there will be a playlist listed down below for you all and we do have another series coming up very soon for a very special trip so subscribe to not miss those and we will see you all in the next one bye, bye.